G'day, g'day, Jacko here from Music Nation on behalf of Studio Wise. Welcome back to part two of our UVI workstation review slash tutu. And now we're going to play with some presets. Woohoo! I've loaded up a whole bunch of stuff here just to save on time. So, what we're going to be hitting is the Yamaha DX1, yes, the Yamaha CS20, Synthox, uh, the G uh, Roland JX10, I believe. Um, Ward of Microwave XT, oh, and the Prophet, Prophet VS. Oh, it's going to be cool. Let's get rolling. So this here is the Yamaha DX1. First sound that comes out, whatever it is. <laughs> Rolling from the presets here. I've just got the arpeggio kind of thing open up. Let's have a look at some um, one of these. Sweet. Yeah, pretty cool. What else we got going on here? Almost 70s. Boy, I always wanted a DX7 when they first came out though, just amazing. Couldn't afford it though. Cool. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I'm going to mute that channel and let's open up the CS20. The default um, the Yamaha CS20, which is quite an old synth, so um, in its day, this was quite, a, quite an amazing synth. Okay. Oops. Mm. 
nice. Let's go to the next one. So that was the Yamaha CS20. Now we're on to the Synthox. <laughs> this is a really aggressive synth. <laughs> What can we put on here? Let's go a bit of... Uh There we go. Okay. I see it's called frequency. Anyway. Okay, cool. I'm just going to apply. You can right click on a dial and then move a fader on your controller on my um, piano here. And now I'm actually controlling the cutoff frequency here. Oh, yeah, this is cool. So this has actually got two layers. I'm on layer one, layer two, and I'm going to now control both layers. Quite nice, quite nice, yes. Let's get it some leads. second to kind of work out where I am on these things. Even though these all share the same um, control as well. Wow, hear that? Hear that kind of grittiness? The tail, the, um, it's just the FM synthesis is just, it's breaking up, you know? Wicked, wicked stuff. Oh, so nice, so nice. Actually, let's go back here and mute that. Okay, this will be the Roland JX10. Okay, let's put that cut off frequency to that dial. <laughs> Typical Roland sound, eh? It's great. Big polysynth sound. No, oh, what else we got? We need some drive.
It's a nice, it's a nice. What can we do here, leads? Pretty good, pretty good. the next one in line so that would be oh yes wall of microwave xt big orange beastie kind of I am looking for the amplitude cut off you Every time, every time I come up with a new patch, I'm like, oh, I can think of a song for that. I just want to start writing. What I want to do is muck with the, not the effects, I want the stereo. Here we go, stereo. Yump, 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 yump. Um, is that what I want? I don't know what I want. What do I want? Very, very cool. Let's 
move on okay so that was the world of microwave xt and now we're into the profit vs you should guys should know this synth yeah. Cut off that one there to you. There we go. Might do resonance while I'm here too. That could be that guy. driving that a little bit. Okay, let's try some more presets. This is really hot output, this one. Crazy, crazy. Um, what I'm looking for, don't know what I'm looking for. Huh? already so as you can see the sounds are just phenomenal I mean I'm, I'm hardly scratching the surface of these I'm just whacking through some presets and oh, so many instruments I haven't even touched you know like the mini moog oh forget it it's so good um, I'm quite keen to show you actually how the um, multi mode works so let's just I'm gonna reset all these instruments back to their default um, Yep, to their default just so we can um, have a look at what it's like using multi-mode um, what am I doing that button there synthox and take you away all the way back to initialize and same with you everyone's being initialized and deck seven. Oh. Okay. Okay. So everyone's on the initial setup. I'm all running the same um, channel. So this um, multi motors you can basically layer up as many as you like on top of each other, right? So you've got individual volume controls for each pan, auxiliary sends. So this is your auxiliary sections down here for effects. All this is effects, in fact, down here. So you've got the original preset effects that come with the machine that you you're talking about and then you can apply a part effect on top of that so potentially like a EQ or a compressor or something uh, you got the two auxiliary 
so sends and then returns down here and this is the master which is effects on the entire the entire bag so let's uh, crank this up. there's a DX7 CS20 add in the synthox add in the uh, what was that the DX10 Ooh, the Waldorf microwave of course the oh, far out the profit hey hey let's do something crazy let's go pan these guys out like that and I want to put a bit of delay on auxiliary one methinks uh, a bit of tape delay uh play with the muse uh, and apply my kind of filter to that okay um, and then what else are we gonna put you in there she just unsold all these Microwave, we can do better than that. Um, do a good lead to it there. Yeah. And then tap into our profit. Oh, I know, I was mucking around with a cut. That really needs a bit of drive. So let's say auxiliary two. I'm going to send auxiliary two can be a distortion effect. See, there's so many effects, so many effects. It's so good. Um, drive um, for my guitar. Yeah. Am I on the right channel? It doesn't seem to be having a massive effect. to make it a little bit hmm okay have not having the most notable effect on that let's try robotizer advanced issues I've probably haven't mentioned over here there's a button you can click and you go into advanced mode and you can set up uh, your keyboard splits and all that kind of stuff right so don't really have time but I could set up a split for instance and have you know just one of these instruments as a lead instrument at the top probably like this this wall off right that could be the top lead instrument Anyway, I'm not going to bang on. There we go. So I'm just using the default INI settings, initialization settings of each of these instruments. Oh, can't talk. Um, they have no effects at all on each channel, you know what I mean? So the, it's just scratching the tip of, the, of what can be achieved here. It's so good. And the, you're unlimited by the amount of instruments you can layer up, by the amount of effects you add in. The only thing that limits you, obviously, is your computer exploding. Um, so there we go, different approach to synthesis, I'm loving it, everything sounds really authentic, I like how you can, you can pick and match, um, 
synths you know like you can for instance you can have like an old uh really old 70s kind of analog pad for instance and then bring in a really modern so the Waldorf microbe xt lead and and you just you mix them together you know in a real environment that would a be prohibitively expensive but um very difficult to patch and to tune and you know so of course you can do it all right here with uvi workstation so very very cool software thanks for watching oh 26 minutes sorry um i'll leave it there if you need anything else uh, if you want any more demos let me know and say good day on facebook drop a message um like us if you like us and uh, we'll probably see you next week with another in-depth review thanks for watching this is jacko from music nation and we'll see you guys next time bye